Chapter 11, a Lesson 5, Essential Question. How can you identify, describe, and classify three-dimensional or 3D figures? Unlock the problem. A solid figure has three dimensions, length, width, and height. Polyhedrons, such as prisms and pyramids, are three-dimensional figures with faces that are polygons. Polygons are what we've been working on in our last few lessons. They only have length and width. Polyhedrons also have a third one, which is the height. A prism is a polyhedron that has two congruent polygons as bases. Congruent means same size and shape. And the bases are going to be, like right here, the top and bottom, if you may. A polyhedron's lateral faces are polygons that connect with the bases. So the lateral faces of a prism are rectangles, no matter what the base is. So this lateral, lateral base right here connects a triangle and a triangle. A prism's base shape is used to name the solid figure. The base shape of this prism is a triangle. So the prism is a triangular prism. So because this is a triangle, you say triangular, and this is rectangular, you say prism. Triangular prism. So we are going to identify the base shape of some prisms, and we're going to use the terms in this box right here on the right to correctly name the prism by its base shape. So let's look at the first one. The, and they've kind of made their the base shapes uh, a little bit different of a color. So right here, this top shaded one, what shape is that? I see two parallel sides and 90 degree angles. That is a rectangle. Now, since that is a rectangle, I'm going to look right over here at types of prisms. Decagonal, nope. Octagonal, nope. Hexagonal, pentagonal, rectangular, right there, rectangular prism. That's the one that I need to write on this line. Press pause and do so. And then see if you can name the rest of them. And remember what deca means, that means 10, oct, hex, penta. Remember what those prefixes mean. This second shape there's one, two, three, four, five sides. So a five-sided figure is called a pentagon, which because there's a pentagon here and on the bottom, that makes it a prism. So it is a pentagonal prism. The next shape has six sides. So that is a hexagon. And because both the top and the bottom are both hexagons and they're connected, that makes it a hexagonal prism. And our last shape, I'm going to make little marks so that I can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that has eight sides. That makes that side an octagon. And it's the same shape on the top and bottom. So the base shape is an octagon, making the polyhedron an octagonal prism. So now let's look at this last question. What special prism has congruent squares for bases and lateral faces? Draw a picture to help you sol yourself think about it. So press pause and see if you can answer that. So this is how I've started my drawing. I did one square here for my top base and another square right here for my bottom base and then they need to be connected. And if these connections make sure that they were all the same size and those are squares as well, what did I just create? I did not create a square prism. What I created is called a cube. A cube has both its bases squares 
and they're the same distance apart as they are wide, so that makes the lateral faces squares as well. The front page is all about polyhedrons. That's one that has two, two bases connected with lateral sides, a lateral face that are rectangles. Now we're going to be talking about pyramids. A pyramid is a polyhedron, which means it has three dimensions with only one base. The lateral faces of a pyramid are triangles that meet at a common vertex. And remember, the vertex is where line segments come together. So in this case, it has a point. So like a prism, a pyramid is named for the shape of its base. So here are, is a list of type of pyramids. And we need to identify the base shape and then using that box, um, name the pyramid correctly. So they've shaded in the base, it's the bottom. Usually the base is what you set it on. So in this first one, the base shape is a triangle. So if we look at our types of pyramids, we have a pentagonal pyramid, rectangular pyramid, square pyramid, and a triangular pyramid. Which one of those would have the base of a triangle? A triangular pyramid. Now you may be noticing that I'm kind of changing up, even in the prisms, that the first word, like triangle, it's not triangle pyramid, it's triangular pyramid, because the triangle, triangular, is it's becoming an adjective to describe what kind of pyramid it is. So that's why they have different endings, instead of just saying the same base name. All right, the second pyramid, what's the base shape? And then find it here. Third pyramid, what's the base shape based on the number of sides? And then name the pyramid. The second one, the base shape is a square. And so that means that it is a square pyramid, which square in and of itself can be the noun or an adjective. So that one doesn't change. But the base shape of this next one has five sides, so that is a pentagon, meaning that that pyramid is a pentagonal pyramid. So those are pyramids. They have a vertex at the top and one base. So now we have some non-polyhedrons. They're three-dimensional figures that have curved surfaces. So they have curved surfaces. And these figures are not polyhedrons. So the first one is called a cone, and it has one circular base, so one base, and it's a circle, and one curved surface. So there's no, like, edges right here. And the second one is called a cylinder, which has two congruent circular bases. So I hope you're seeing a common theme here. Circular bases and one curved surface. And a sphere has no bases and one curved surface. All of these are kind of circular, like a sphere if you cut it off in the middle, you would have a circle as a base. So all of these non-polyhedrons have to do with a circle and a curved surface. Let's move on to the Venn diagram so that we can classify and sort our figures. So we're going to use the Venn diagram, which this, in this case it's not two overlapping circles, this is geometric figures, there's non-polyhedrons, this rectangle is polyhedrons, and then what is considered a polyhedron but also has another special name inside of that. So see if you can take these vocabulary words that we just talked about, and you can look back at your other pages as reference, and see if you can place them where they go. Press pause and begin. I'm going to start with the non-polyhedrons 
because I know that those ones all have to do with circles and curved surfaces. So a cone, I'm going to think about an ice cream cone, it has a circle on the top and then comes to a point, and so that is a non-polyhedron, the cone is. And then I'm going to cross it off so I don't worry about it. Uh, cylinders, that's like a soup can, and so it's a circle on top, circle on bottom, they're connected, there's no edges, um, but and it's based with circles, so it is also a non-polyhedron. Prisms, prisms have two bases, um, polygon bases connected, and so there's no circles involved in that, and so prisms are polyhedrons. And then pyramids have one base and the lateral faces come to a point. So it has nothing to do with circles either. So and spheres. Sapphire, it kind of looks like a circle. If you cut it in half you'd see a circle. And so the sapphire is a non-polyhedron. So I have those ones done. Now I know that a prism and a pyramid are both polyhedrons. Um, should they overlap at all? No, because a prism has two bases while a pyramid has one base. So each of them gets to go in their own circle. So that's what your Venn diagram should look like. And this Venn diagram lets us know that if something is a prism, it's also considered a polyhedron. And if it is a pyramid, it is also considered a polyhedron. For today's share and show, make sure you read the directions, classify the solid figure, classify means to name it and put it into a category. You are to use the words prism, pyramid, cone, cylinder, or sphere. I would like you to try to, if it is a prism or a pyramid, I'd like you to name it based on the, uh, the base. So this first one, this is where the triangles are. So this one, I'm just tell you, it's a triangular prism because this has a triangle here and a triangle here connected um, together. So I would write on this first one, triangular prism. Make sure you have prism. Try to name it based on the shape of the base if it's possible. Press pause and work. Number two, uh, it by, looks like if I cut it in half, I'd get a circle. So that makes number two uh, be a sphere because there's also no base. So it looks just like a ball. So it is a sphere. Number three, I can see that there is one base and it comes to a point together and the bottom shape right here has six sides. That makes this a hexagonal pyramid because it comes to a point. Okay. This last one in red, I only highlighted one base, but I can see that there are two and it has five sides. So that means it's pentagonal. And because it has two bases, that makes it a prism. Uh, number five, there's one base and it has one point. So this is making it a pyramid. What type of pyramid? The base has one, two, three, four, five sides. So this one is a pentagonal pyramid. And our last one. I see a circle and a circle, so two bases and then no edges, it's just a curved surface and it looks like a soup can, so that is a cylinder. Before I release you to move on to your other tasks, think about the math talk. A prism and a pyramid, compare them. How are they similar? How are they different? Think about it. A prism has two bases. A pentagon or a pyramid has one base, but they both have bases using polygon shapes. 
a pyramid also has one um they all all those lateral faces come to one point at the top